What's up, whiskey lovers? I'm the malt activist, and if you've been following my videos for the last four days, you will know that today is day four of eight as we review the Diageo special releases of 2020. Now, this is what has happened so far. Day one, Cardu 11, disappointed. Day two, Kragenmore 20, not as disappointed as Cardu 11, but definitely disappointed. And finally, day three, Dalwini 30 years old. That's right, Dalwini 30 years old. Not just disappointed, devastated, uninspired, irritated, angry, disheartened, overall pissed off. Jeez, what a bad whiskey that is. And so here we are on day four with what I sincerely, sincerely, sincerely hope will be at least one whiskey which redeems this entire drama. Okay, and that is the Lagavulin 12. This is distilled in 2007, bottled at 56.4% and has an eagle on the label. All right, I don't know why, but it does. So generally, I've been a huge fan of the Lagavulin 12 cost strength series. I've yet to have one that's disappointed me, which is why I'm hoping this one maintains a track record and I think it will. I think it should be absolutely fine. I did think that about the Kragenmore 20 and the Dalwini 30 as well. But, woo, that was a letdown. So, let's see. Yep, that's what it looks like. Yes, good nose. Ashy, sooty. Lemony, citrusy, white pepper, black pepper, vanilla, green leaves, grassy, touch of grass, green berries, green fruits, guavas, unripe guavas. Yes, nice wisp of smoke. Sharp citrus, super lime, fresh lime. Finally, I really, really like this nose. It's a lovely nose. As of now, it's one of the best noses I've come across in the 2020 box. Uh, this is matured uh, exclusively in a refill uh, bourbon barrels. Uh, and I know, uh, you know, normally I'd be like, oh, yes, another, another refill bourbon barrel served at cost rent. Who cares? But the Lagavulin spirit is just something that I love. And this is no exception. So, so far, nose, very good. Finally, I'm happy. Yes, finally, good. No, excellent. This is what I want. From Lagavulin, this is what I want from a cast strength whiskey. Massive on the palate, ooh, so um, so dry and oaky, yet juicy at the same time. The black and white peppers um, really like sting, but in a nice way. It's quite savory. Like I said, I didn't smell anything really sweet on the nose. This is all savory on the palate, which is nice. Very, very smoky, smokier than most Lagavulins actually. Quite briny, quite, quite salty. Wow, yes. So, I think this is a very signature lag of Woolen. I would recognize this from a mile away. And um, this is the flavor profile that I really, really like. You know, um, uh, bourbon uh, maturation served at cost strength. Uh, I wish there was some first fill bourbon in here as well. That would have been great. But it just seems like refill. Um, I don't know what that would have turned out like. But anyway. Uh, I like this, even though it might border on one dimensional, I think if it was slightly sweeter, if we had more sort of uh, vanilla custardy notes or even like a sweet citrus note in here, it would have been a much more balanced whiskey. But 
you know most uh, 12 year old lager bulls at cost strength come like this and uh, i i find that flavor profile really really satisfying so uh, i'm happy to give this one uh, a, a b plus which i think is very good given what we've been going through here's a uh, So literature says if you add the water, uh, the more smoky pungent notes come out uh, and the sweetness is more prominent. So let's see if that is really the case. Yep, certainly become more pungent, a little more smoky as well. I now get the boiled sweets, the candy sweets, candy sweets, boiled sweets, hard boiled sweets, hard boiled candies. <sighs> wow. So much more sweeter, so much less spicier, so much less drying. Um, this is now a completely different whiskey with a few drops of water. See, this is what I've been talking about. If you've, if you've been following my videos, you know, I always say water can turn a good whiskey great. It cannot turn a crap whiskey any better. And this is already a good whiskey. And now with some water, it's become even better. The sweeter notes have come out so strongly that, you know, that, that vanilla and the custard and the pudding and the, and the sweet citrus that I was talking about, boom, all here. This is, this is putting me back on the island at the distillery, right by the pier that just goes straight into the water. And you stand there uh, and the cold wind is in your face and you're you're hanging out with friends and you drink cost strength Lagavulin and this is what it's reminding me of so yes thank you finally finally something of note to come out of this bag of crap so far is this Lagavulin 12 mind you it is still not an absolutely spectacular whiskey it just happens to be a whiskey that I really really like or the type of whiskey that i really really like so there might be people out there some of you who might find it too harsh uh, who might find it too one-dimensional uh, and that's absolutely fine but i happen to like that flavor profile and i'm liking it even more after adding a few drops of water to it so it's really done the whiskey good like i said it's still not ridiculously spectacular it's still a b plus in my books which is still an above average whiskey, which is excellent, but actually no bugs. This is a good clean whiskey. Uh, it's, it's constructed nicely. Uh, I like the flavor profile. Add a bit of water, it becomes even better. And it's, um, it's so far the best of the lot, which I know is not saying a lot, but hey, I'll, I'll take what I can get. So Lagavulin 12, it does the job and it does the job well. I don't think we can complain. All right, good. So thank you. Thank you for joining me for this whiskey review. I'm the Malta Activist. Until next time, peace.